The Minister for Finance introduced his budget with the aim of reinforcing policies to grow the economy, to establish conditions which would create jobs and to prepare for exiting the bailout programme. On personal tax, the Minister has made no changes to the income tax rates and bans. However, he has introduced some incentives and made some changes to other tax reliefs. The new Home Innovation Incentive is payable over the two years following the year in which the work was carried out. The credit will be calculated at a rate of 13.5% on all qualifying expenditure over €5,000 up to a maximum of €30,000. The Minister announced a change to the Universal Social Charge by announcing that unearned income will be subject to the Universal Social Charge from the 1st of January 2014. Tax relief for medical insurance premiums will be restricted to the first €1,000 per adult insured and the first €500 per child insured. Top slicing relief will no longer be available from 1st of January 2014 on ex gratia lump sums in respect of termination and severance payments. The Minister announced a change to the one parent tax credit. It will be known as a single person child carer tax credit. Only the primary carer, rather than both single parents, will be able to claim the credit. Dirt on all products will increase to 41%. The Minister also set out a package of incentives to entrepreneurs who, he hopes, will create jobs. The Minister introduced an exemption from income tax up to €40,000 for a period of two years to entrepreneurs who set up a qualifying, unincorporated business. They must, however, have been unemployed for a period of at least 15 months prior to establishing the new business. A new relief is being introduced to encourage entrepreneurs to reinvest in assets used in new productive trading activities. Reliefs will apply where the individual has paid capital gains tax on the disposal of an asset and makes an investment in a new business for a minimum of three years. Other measures include tax relief is to be withdrawn on loans taken out to acquire an interest in a partnership. This will be phased in over the next four years, but no relief will be allowed on loans from the 15th of October 2013. The expenditure allowed for the R&D tax credit has been increased to €300,000 and there are also positive amendments with regard to outsourced third parties and removal of some barriers to surrender R&D tax credits to key employees. Businesses with a turnover of up to €2 million Euros can now account for VAT on a cash receipts basis, which has been raised from €1.25 million. The Minister also announced a new programme of two days of dedicated off-site training for SMEs to improve financial capability. To help the housing market, Michael Noonan has extended the Property Purchase Incentive. For properties purchased between the 7th of December 2011 and 31st of December 2014, where the property is held for seven years, the gains accrued in that period will not attract capital gains tax. For the farming community, the following changes have been announced. The eligibility for young trained farmer relief is being extended by adding three more courses to the list of relevant qualifications required for stock relief and stamp duty relief on the purchase of agricultural properties. Capital gains tax retirement relief is being further extended to the disposal of leased land provided one, the land is leased over a minimum of five years and two, disposal is to a person other than the child of the person disposing of the farmland. Farmers' flat rate addition, which is used to compensate farmers on VAT incurred from their inputs, has been increased from 4.8% to 5%. The Minister announced the following measures for excise and air tax. The price of 20 cigarettes increases by 10 cents. A pint of beer increases by 10 cents. A 750ml bottle of wine goes up 50 cents. There will be no increase on petrol, diesel or heating oil. The air travel tax will be reduced to zero. This video presentation aims to provide a summary of the contents of Budget 2014. If you require more comprehensive advice on how Budget 2014 affects you and your business, please consult your business advisor.